trip down to Vamaveke. Lucky I've got Carissa and she's basically made me aware that if I don't buy my ticket today then I probably won't get a train. And I'm not gonna lie, the queues are looking pretty mad. <laughs> We're going through here. Can you not buy tickets online? Can you do that here? Look at these queues. <coughs> Last time I was here, I just bought my ticket in five minutes. Yeah. But now it's weekend, summer. It seems crazy that people are waiting. No, and this it's not even like just here either. It's the whole. It's the same sort of. It's just different number desks. It's the same all round, yeah. I can't know, like, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. If, so, yeah, if, like. if you're lucky, you can find a ticket. If. But you don't think I'm going to be, you don't think I'll be able to get a ticket? I did get offered a 300, 300 euro taxi journey when I, when I got my taxi from the airport. The there is apparently a bus that goes all... There, there is apparently another bus as well, but I don't know where or how or where that goes from. We can ask. Oh, passport. Why oh, an ID? Need an ID? For a train? The bubble? <laughs> oh, I've got a passport. But, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I would have had an hard time booking this, I reckon. <laughs> Constanza. Constanza. Huh? This. Okay. Constanza, yep, yeah, that's back. 12.06 and 11.06. Bucharest in Nord, that's 11.06, 8.30, 10.40, today's the 10th. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Easy. Oh my goodness gracious me. Last night was completely crazy. Somehow, I've only managed to go and do it. I'm awake. I'm going to get the bath. I'm going to get the train. As you can tell, I'm a little bit worse for wear. Let's get this on the POV. Boom out onto the streets of Bucharest. Look at this madness. This is like my pane of glass. I've smashed it. Can't park that there, mate. You know what I mean? A bit mad, all of that, innit? But right, so, Parisa, yesterday, completely smashed it out of the bag. Complete diamond of a lady. I was just going to go out last night by myself and so I went and did that and then Marisa ended up messaging me later on in the evening and she's like oh you can go out with all of my friends if you want to so I'm like yeah like and so basically she's given her number to she's given me one of her friends number who I've then got in contact with and I've ended up going out on a night out with them I don't think I ended up getting home till around, I think it was about half past five this morning. Currently, it's like eight o'clock. Yeah, bang on eight o'clock, and I'm meant to be getting on this train. If I'm not there for half past eight, then I miss my train. Hello there, sir. I'll go, grab a bed it's, it's my friend, he was the, book, the bookshop man the other night. If I don't get that train for half past eight, then um, I've completely fucked it. Oh, it's ten. 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 Thank you, thank you. Come 
Sorry. Oh, the Do you know? Uh, well, fuck, you got you got the same same spot as mine. That's really? A, that's fucking impossible. Man. What is it? <laughs> no, oh. no. I've seen somebody earlier. Uh, he was in a car number twelve. Car number twelve. It's only got seven cars, so it's a bit crazy. Yeah? We got the same seat. See the inside, man. See inside. Over. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. Yes. One. First, top, end, end, end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Boom! One number. Uh, and number one is the end, the end one, I think. No, 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 no. Here, no. locomotive. Just a moment. Okay. It's okay, so don't hit. This one? Okay, what one of Thank you. Okay, so one hit is no problem number. You sure? You sure? Yes. It's 47, eh? Huh? 47 is no problem number. It's not full. It's not, it's not full? Yes. Thank you. Constanta. I don't actually know too much about it to be honest um, as it was only going to be a pass through journey smoke a cigarette I need a, I need a toilet actually and then I suppose find out exactly where I'm going to be getting this bus from we'll probably have a little look about that as well because I don't know how long the bus is going to end up being but just going to find the toilet and then we'll be back on the train was better than what I was expecting it to be in Romania because uh, so you have to buy a ticket and that has your like it's you, you have a set coach and you have a set seat and everything I managed to get quite lucky with it and um, I think I actually got myself a VIP seat that side yep. so that one is a Constanta Mangalia bus Uh, Mangalia. Mangalia is some coming away. Yeah, and then and then uh, do I pay on the bus? You don't have to get ticket. I can go. Thank you. Good boy. Ah, okay, that was super easy. So. This isn't the bus to Vamaveki, but this is the bus to Mangalia. And then I think I've got to get another bus from Mangalia over to Vamaveki. So, at the moment, I'm not sure when exactly it's leaving, but they just told me jump on. And, um, yeah, I suppose we're going to see what happens. Right, 
so we are here in Mangalia, the last bit of the trip. Basically, just got the bus from Constanta to Mangalia. I've now got here, there's meant to be another bus that comes, that takes me to Vamabechi from here. It doesn't seem very promising at the moment. Like, I'm by the bus stand sort of section, but it's not really a proper bus stand if I'm honest. It's just kind of a, uh, it's a shop. It's a shop, that's the best way to explain it. This just over here is the main bus stand. That's where I got dropped off on the bus anyway. There is some taxis. Now I am slightly tempted on just getting a taxi. I, I kind of don't want to give in though because I've gone the whole public transport route. Um, so I feel like now, like literally, where, I'm, where I need to get to is about 10 minutes down the road. Yeah, I'm quite tired, to be honest. I was looking for a coffee, you know? Latte. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. How do I get to Bamabeke? So we are officially here. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting slightly I was expecting something slightly different because I've just kind of been dropped off and it's just kind of a bit of a road. But it's not a bad road, it's quite a quiet road for what I was actually expecting. I don't know whether the main bit is all obviously down by the beach or something. I've, I've, got, I've got a feeling that I've got a bit of a walk right now to get to my actual place. That I'm staying at a place called Cortina Camp. It's so basically it's a campsite. This place here, La Mariana. So I was actually looking at this online and they, these were doing a tent for the night. I could have paid seven pound, I believe. And the only reason that I didn't and the only reason that I've ended up staying at the place where I am staying now is that um, obviously where I've got the camera and stuff like that I need a base so, I, so, so that I can charge it and it's just a bit more safe than if I want to leave my gear back at the camp it's actually in a tent that people can just open but um, well, I need to get a juice and then I suppose we start the war. Or do I juice or do I beer? That's the question. But uh, yeah, so right now, as I say, it's quite quiet. I was expecting this place, like, I was expecting to sort of, as I'm driving through this place, for it to be like, mad parties and lots of just yeah I don't know what I was expecting really but I wasn't quite expecting this this amount of chill you know like I'm not saying it's bad I'm still completely open to what this place has to offer but just with with the hype that I've seen on like Videos. There's a little little party sort of gathering thing there, but that looks like some sort of apartments, probably. Don't even see. Tops of heads over the fence. But um, that's a road looking like it's leading down to the main seafront. But yeah, at the moment it's a uh, it's quite it's quite quiet in Vamaveki. So. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down the camera and uh, crack on with my walk a little bit because I need to get there and just like, I need a shower and I need to just sort myself out. See you guys soon. Hello there. Right, so we have eventually made it. I got a little bit lost, I'm not going to lie. I had to walk up quite a long, empty looking road, you know, and I uh, weren't really sure where I was going. But my place of stay is Cortina Gate. It's basically like a campsite, but then they also have one chalet, which is 
One yeah. people? One person, yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Perfect, it's perfect, it's good, it's good. <laughs> My husband, you see. Oh, how? It's okay, I don't think, I probably will not watch the TV anyway, so it's okay, I think. Um, Shall I take your shoes off him? <laughs> Shall I take my shoes off? <laughs> One person, two, three. What, normally more people than one here, yeah? Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'll do you a quick tour. Put up some lights. Boom. This is my bedroom. A lovely, nice double bed. I have a nice window if I want to. And I have some chairs out there as well. You can also see I've got an array of sun beds and stuff like this. And I've got a lovely kitchen and a lovely another bed. And and also a lovely toilet and shower. I think shower is going to be the first port of call, to be honest with you. Because just all the travelling has made me quite hot. Spin this round. Yeah, so just all the travelling has made me quite hot. So I think I'm probably just going to have a shower. I don't know whether to try and get a little bit of sleep or not. Like. The day's getting on. It's not started raining yet, which is good. I was definitely expecting rain. I've been expecting rain all weekend, but it hasn't actually rained. Well, I haven't been rained on yet. Let's touch wood to that. But um, yeah, I'm thinking a shower, get myself a bit spruced up, and uh, and then we'll go and see what what Vamavecchi is about. You know. Greetings from Cortina Gate. Uh. 